Hey guys, welcome to the Dementors. Once again, it's Peter and uh, Derek. Yeah, if you don't know us, uh, we are basically the software engineers um, who do something besides their regular daily work. So we do some open source, uh, but not only, we also used to do the uh, distributed.NET Core series on the YouTube, which was all about creating the distributed system based on the .NET Core platform. Uh, and besides that, we have few pet projects, um, tools, and some sort of um, other source of uh, source of code which helps you to develop uh, distributed, but not only distributed uh, applications. So, exactly. And recently, for the last, I would even say, few years, we've been publishing to our YouTube channel some videos, some tutorials related to building uh, web applications, microservices, and so on. And it's time to move on. And we would like to actually invite you to the new series coming up soon, right? Yeah. Yeah, we mentioned this, uh, I guess, two months ago. Yeah. that we are going to launch the new live series on the YouTube. So we are planning to do a slightly different thing that we used to do, N not just recording the stuff and publishing on the YouTube, but we would like to have more interaction with you. I would like to maybe take some suggestions uh, that you could come up with. So yeah, the idea is that starting from the December the 2nd, uh, we are going to record the lives on the YouTube, which will stand for about two hours each one. And yeah, and the hour is, as you can see, the 8 uh, p.m. from the Central Central Europe time. If yeah. you don't know which time is it, you basically can go to the YouTube because we are going to publish uh, the, 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 the whole the whole lives up front. So you will mm -hmm. see that some life is upcoming and you can subscribe to this one. So, so you will be notified once we'll start recording. And yeah, and there are a few things that we would like to cover during this lives, right? Yeah, exactly. So we'll be working on the application from the scratch. So this will be like a new application. Um, we have some rather complex domain in mind, which won't be another e-commerce or this sort of thing. So we can promise you that. I think you will find this domain quite interesting, hopefully. And what is and also, quite risky. I, yeah, I would quite say risky. Quite yeah. risky. Yeah, quite if risky. you're a male, uh, if you're a male, it, it, it could be quite risky, and you will see why. Yeah, and what is important, we will not like jump directly into the coding, but we'll start it, let's say, the right way, and we'll do some, let's say, analysis, uh, some sessions before we actually touch the code. So we'll start with the event storming technique, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the idea is that yeah, once again, we would like to, uh, let's say, simulate the typical uh, approach in which we basically have lack of business requirements. And yeah, now it is pretty much us as a developer's decision whether we would like to use it for the some sort of POC and eventually change the code together with the business requirements. Or maybe we would like to first explore this system and find out whether the requirements actually make sense. Maybe there are some lacks of the requirements. Maybe something is not consistent when it comes to the whole business flow. Uh, so we could spot this before we actually touch any code. Of course, this will save our not only the time, but also the money, right? When it comes to the company. So we'll use this uh, quite popular technique called event storming mm -hmm. by Alberto Brandolini. Uh, we are going to see how this might be handy when it comes to the big picture of our system, how we can actually see um, the whole shape of our system and what the system will actually um, do for us. Uh, but then we can also step down a little bit and see yeah. how the particular components, the modules of the system will look like. Yeah, exactly. So most likely we'll spend, I think, about two episodes tops and uh, the first yeah. one will be about this so-called big picture event storming. And then in the, let's say, next episode, we'll go a little bit deeper to this, let's say, process level. So I think this is the plan for the very, very beginning of this uh, live series. And, I would say that yeah. we, we will even even we'll even touch the design level uh, yeah, as well. Could be, so could be. you will see also some sort of aggregates and, and other stuff that mm -hmm. we'll cover. Um, yeah, yeah. As a result, we'll have the 
as you presented. Yeah, the modular monolith approach. So we've been talking about microservices for quite some time now, starting with our distributed and core series that you can uh, find on the YouTube. Then we move into our microservices.net core course that you can find on our DevMentors IO platform. But now we'll actually be working with this modular monolith because uh, microservices, I mean, we've already recorded enough about them, I think. And this is like a very huge and complex topic. So usually it's better to start with monolithic approach, but uh, to, you know, make your monolith the right way to implement it the right way. And we'll show you how you can, uh, uh, how you can, uh, you know, think of your monoliths, um, not uh, like something which is a legacy code, but something that can be like really, let's say, sexy and, and nice and interesting to work with. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cover also the, and we'll discuss where, or maybe what architectural drivers are mm -hmm. right for uh, going directly to the microservices and which are basically not and can could be substituted with a uh, way easier modular monolith approach. Exactly. Yeah, so so this will be, uh, I, I, hopefully this will be quite interesting for you because I, I'm, I'm quite aware that the, the modular monolith itself is not that popular yet. So probably there will be, for some of you, this will be quite new thing. Uh, we'll also cover the domain-driven design. So if you have read uh, Eric Evans' book, um, the, the quite famous blue book. Um, yep. Yeah, we'll cover some parts of the domain-driven design. Some of the building that, blocks. Yeah, Yeah, the building blocks, the concepts, some patterns. Uh, you will see that the domain-driven design could be contextual, does not have to apply necessarily to the whole system. So we'll have the modules in our monolith that will be quite simple, will be nothing more but the rather the CRUD, but we'll also have the the core dom core modules which will contain this domain driven design patterns and the building blocks. Yeah, so as well. Yeah. So in overall we also focus, let's say, on this uh, software craftsmanship. So not only yeah. writing the code, but trying to figure out how to write your code in nice and a clean and you know, let's say testable or uh, extensible way. And, uh, and how to actually yep. and how to actually deliver the business value, which yeah, is something fast. that I, I yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think that we sometimes forget. Uh, yeah. Also, since the .NET five is here, we'll also uh, create this application, of course, based on the .NET five, and you will see the C sharp nine and uh, new stuff that comes with it. Yeah, this is why so there will be. Yeah. This is yeah. why we haven't started uh, this course earlier, as promised, because we waited for .NET 5, just like we waited for .NET Core 3.0 when we were working with uh, previous courses. So yeah, that, that's the reason, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you, this this will give us a chance to talk about the new features, and you will see this in action. We can discuss it, how the code style changed uh, since the C Sharp 9, and yeah, hopefully this will be also also interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And besides that, we'll have basically the discussions with you hopefully we will really hope for some interactions with you um we'll do our best to show you some code tips since this will be the live will not be that focused on the coding itself i uh, would like to basically have fun code of course but also show you some some useful um uh, useful tips and and, yeah. and we promise that there will be also tons of <laughs> useless <laughs> fun facts of course, related to the programming, but probably something that maybe uh, you you will not use uh, that often, and especially on some you know job interviews or something. But yeah. Be so I think that's it. Uh, see you on YouTube then in less than a week, and hopefully yeah. you'll stay with us for the whole series. So for the whole year. For the whole because year. That's yeah. How much? It <laughs> we'll see. Take, you know? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Yeah. Thank you, and see, see you, you then. then.